Hi, uh, Jonathan York from Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at the investment markets. I um, just want to wish everyone a very, uh, very happy uh, 2016. And certainly it's been quite an interesting start to the year. Um, again, some very strong numbers out of the US on the uh, unemployment data. For December, you're looking for around uh, 200,000 jobs created. They came in around 292. And also November's was revised up as well. So really some very strong growth uh, in, the, uh, in the employment numbers out of the US. The only disappointing uh, factor there was uh, our hourly average earnings were, were a little bit on the weakish side. You know, but clearly if you're continuing to uh, create uh, jobs at you know, sort of over 200,000 per month, um, then there's only a limited number of uh, uh, people in the workforce, and that's surely got to start to filter through into sort of higher wage uh, growth going forward. It really should only be a matter of time, you know, if you're creating 200,000 plus uh, jobs per month before those hourly average earnings start to, uh, start to increase up as people are having to try and attract people into, uh, into employment um, from, from other jobs. And, you know, really, if, if, if you've got a limited workforce and you're approaching full employment, um, then, uh, you know, it has to be done in terms of uh, wage increases. Never one to be sort of out of the headlines for too long. Uh, China sort of started the, the year with a, a pretty pretty interesting time as well. Stock market there is down around sort of ten percent ish, and that's had a knock on effect uh, with the rest of the world uh, between down sort of four and a half to sort of six percent. Although interestingly, New Zealand was only down about two and a half so far. But again, certainly in the U.S., you set that against the backdrop of the uh, the employment data, and uh, you know it's really going to be quite interesting now to see how sort of earnings season comes through. Um, and it's just very interesting as well if you look at over 2015, if you bought uh, sort of equities in the U.S. Uh, sort of share indices just before earnings season, and then sold them out just after earnings season, you would have made pretty decent gains on uh, over the four earnings season reportings. Interesting as well, sort of looking forward, the World Bank has come out with this sort of growth forecast. Uh, interesting to see uh, India is around 7.7 .7 for, uh, for 2016, China's coming in at 6.7. Um, you know, again, a lot, of, a lot of noise has been made about China sort of slowing down, but even at 6.7, that's still a pretty decent growth when you compare it with the rest of the world. Also, as well, sort of quite interesting to note, uh, you know, in, in China that uh, still quite a few companies are looking at uh, some pretty big expansions there. Uh, I notice UBS are looking at increasing their workforce uh, in the uh, in the sort of China region. Uh, also, Starbucks as well are embarking on another sort of a expansion out there. So, although you know, supposedly the Chinese economy is slowing down, you still got plenty of companies out there who are looking to increase their exposure and increase their sort of footprint um, on the on the Chinese economy. Um, you know, so clearly it, it can't be slowing down that much. Oil also, uh, you know, really under quite a bit of pressure and, you know, even talk that it could be heading towards 20 bucks a barrel. And that's, you know, approaching sort of an 11, 12 year low. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how that sort of filters through. Obviously has some pretty major implications out there for inflation, but also as well the tax revenue that comes through. You know, a lot of, most of the major governments across, across the world get a pretty uh, reasonable tax take for, from oil. Um, and obviously with oil falling, that uh, proportion of their tax take is, is getting less and less. Here in New Zealand, still a lot of people looking for income. You know, with falling rates, it's really becoming sort of quite uh, quite interesting now. As you know, sort of bank term deposits are around sort of three and a half to maybe, maybe sort of four percent. Here in New Zealand, the lifetime income funds has been launched, um, obviously uh, aimed towards retirees, and it's looking at providing a steady income stream, uh, which ranges between sort of five percent uh, net to uh, six point five percent net, depending on your.